This week in science, we're back here at the Space Center talking about Beetlejuice. Not the Tim Burton movie from the 80s, the star. It's the reddish looking shoulder of the constellation Orion. It's the 10th brightest star in the night sky, and it is destined to explode. Betelgeuse's supernova is going to happen rather soon, in the cosmic sense of time anyway. When it does happen, you won't need a telescope to watch. It would last several weeks and be as bright as the full moon even during the day. And there's been speculation that this supernova was imminent. In late 2019, Betelgeuse started to become noticeably dimmer, a possible sign that the red supergiant had run out of fuel and was starting to collapse in on itself. This event was dubbed the Great Dimming. In the span of just a couple of months, Betelgeuse lost about two-thirds of its normal luminosity, making it more like the 21st brightest star in the sky. Astronomers naturally were curious about why this was happening, so they started to watch it using the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope. That's in Chile. What they discovered was the star's light loss was not uniform. Instead, it was concentrated in its southern hemisphere. And they've now concluded that Betelgeuse let off a clump of gas about a year before the Great Dimming. That gas was able to condense into dust because of a regular spell of cooler weather in the star's southern region. And it's that dust which was blocking a lot of the light from reaching Earth temporarily. So no explosion. In fact, one might not happen for another 100,000 years. We don't actually know. This new research published in the journal Nature says it's possible Betelgeuse will blow up without giving off many warning signs first. But don't worry, it's some 700 light years away from here, so we're well outside the blast zone. With This Week in Science on City News, I'm News 1130's Curtis Doring.